to this day. To this day. I hit him clean more times. I beat him. Use your common sense. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. This MAGA country. What up, Bushido Spirit, back with another video. Here to talk about the Leaving Neverland documentary. But before I get into that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit the notification icon to let you know when I drop videos. The director, Dan Reed, has now cast doubt on whether or not the documentary was even credible. Mm. According to Mirror Online, Reed admitted that the timeline given by the alleged victim, James Safechuck, doesn't fit the dates given in the series. What? Okay, wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Hold your horses. Safechuck alleged that Michael Jackson sexually abused him in an upstairs bedroom at Neverland's train station. Remember? Right. Yeah. Okay. He said that the abuse stopped in 1992. Okay. Follow me. Michael Jackson abused me at the upstairs bedroom of the train station. It all ended in 1992. He even said that in court. Now, someone has come forward who is actually the biographer that has kept the history of everything. He was like, wait a minute. He went back and got records and found out that the Neverland train station wasn't built till 1994. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that nigga slapped the station at the, the table. <laughs> boy, How excited. about that? Something happened somewhere that didn't even exist. Huh? How about that? <laughs> oh, and they wow. still ran it. Yes. Still but they, yeah, they still ran that shit, dog. That, that, is, that is maddening. You got people out here like Oprah co signing the documentary. People that didn't even do their fucking research saw that three hour long snore fest. And decided that that was enough evidence when there wasn't any actual evidence in the documentary like there was no evidence in that shit it was just footage of drone shots and niggas talk about their feelings and then the parents were just lying like a motherfucker in the documentary just lying lying there's holes all over the place man Wait, he didn't, the director didn't fact check before he directed that's this documentary? That's what everybody's saying. They okay. did not fact check. That's that. Hell, nobody fact checked. The media didn't fact check. It's a damn shame. A damn shame. What is wrong with today's media? They don't fact check shit. Like, I saw all the interviews leading up to the showing of the documentary. And nobody asked the accusers any tough questions. Nothing. They ask tougher questions to the family of Michael Jackson. That lets you know from jump whose side they were on. That should have alerted you. That should have made your antennas move a little bit. That shit crazy. Shit is crazy. And, and the only reason I think the media is talking about this shit is because Mike Smallcomb is a biographer of Michael Jackson. He's a journalist. You know, he, he wrote a book called Making Michael Jackson. So he is somebody that is looking into the history, actively researching Michael Jackson's history. So if you don't take up, so if you don't, uh, if you don't look into it after he exposes the shit, then yeah. you are really trying to push that narrative. So I feel like some of these publications, some of these outlets had no choice but to talk about this. And you don't really see any major, like any major news station like Fox or CNN talk about it yet. Like, or CBS. You see places like the Sun and the Metro and fucking Ebony and shit like that. This shit is crazy. That's uh, wow. But they check. put it out there like it was Yo. facts, and they didn't even fact if check. If you it. ain't fact check, that means you ain't care. That's what that means. Yeah, That's so what it was all about. And then now. even Oprah comes out after that. You know, speaking of Oprah, um, there's an article out right now several articles out right now about Oprah I think this shit is on media takeout yeah I'm not saying that media takeout is uh, <laughs> a site for facts but um, I think there's several other uh, news sites that are posting this shit up so Oprah apparently started deleting 
anything that mentions Leaving Neverland, the documentary, on her social media. She, she, she wiped her Twitter and she wiped her YouTube channel. So you don't see any of that shit on there. That is crazy. And I read the article earlier and they were saying that it may have something to do with uh, Oprah's deal with Apple. Um, Oprah has this big ass deal with Apple that maybe uh, she she senses that there is a backlash. Uh, she's preparing for, for the winter. Nigga, winter is coming. She can't forge her dragon glass in time. So that bitch just wiped her shit clean. She just wiped her shit clean. She did not want any bad publicity to fuck up her Apple deal. You know, Apple's doing their new streaming services. She doing, I don't know what the fuck she's doing on the streaming services. Oprah Book Club or some shit like that. And this is somebody that was one of the first people to come out and say, hey, this shit is credible. I saw the documentary at my birthday party with Gail. And, you know, Gail went on went on to interview the accusers and Michael Jackson's family. Um, this is the best documentary I've ever seen. This shit is groundbreaking. This will cause you, this will make you question Michael Jackson's legacy forever. Cancel Michael Jackson. This is what this documentary will make you do. And now this bitch backtracking. She couldn't even stand behind her own position. She herself didn't do no fact checking. Oprah did not do no fucking fact checking. Like, come on. Like, what? what is this? What is this? <laughs> I'm not even trying to go the conspiracy route, but damn. That, it is literally your job to do some research and fact check but you couldn't even do that shit that shit is crazy man um this is this is a uh, if you didn't know this is mike uh, smallcombs page all right here um and if you scroll down the page it's this all about uh this michael jackson leaving neverland stuff him he's posting up articles about the shit and he's probably exposing the documentary more and more every day so uh Go ahead and go to his page if you want to learn more about this shit. Um, also, uh, I forgot to mention that there's also another error that he pointed out. So in the documentary, I think um, the mother of, of Wade Robinson talks about how the family went to the Grand Canyon and, and uh, Wade stayed behind with Michael Jackson. Apparently that shit wasn't true. In a deposition, I guess, during the Jordy Chandler case, you know, the, one of the first accusers. She talks about how they went to the Grand Canyon, but she never mentioned at that time that Wade stayed behind. And there would be no reason for her to leave that out because she openly admits the other times that he stayed with Michael Jackson. So I don't know why that particular time she would leave that out. Also, I, 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 heard, I, I listened to an interview with Brandy Jackson and she, and she was talking about how in the documentary... Um, Wade's mother said that she was happy that Michael Jackson died but like that can't be the case cause cause after Michael Jackson died the family had called Brandy Jackson and they were sad about the shit and they, they wanted to know if they can I guess take care of the kids or some I don't know some shit like that you have to look up the interview but and they don't even interview Brandy Jackson. They don't interview anybody with a different opinion on the situation. So they, they just they just full on into their own narrative. Anyway, I'm your boy Bushido Spirit. Uh, tell me what you feel about that. Peace the fuck out. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon.